What's up, people? It's uh, Justice James coming to you live at 3.40, well, almost 4 o'clock in the morning. So you have to forgive me for not giving you the uh, regular theatrical performance that I normally do when I get on camera because I'm a little tired from working out. But anyway, enough about me. I'm getting on camera to talk to you guys about my documentary, Illumination Bluminati, which was supposed to have been released on April Fool's Day, but it's been a change of plans as of today. It has officially been moved to July the 4th. Yes, Independence Day, ladies and gentlemen. But the documentary is on Crystal and Indigo Children. And there's still a lot of people who don't know about Crystal and Indigo Children, even though you had people like Anderson Cooper, Oprah Winfrey, and countless of other people who have spoken about Indigos and Crystal Children, but there's still people who need to know more about it. So I figured I'd put together a documentary on it because it's something that I'm passionate about doing and I really believe in not just my gift on giving the world a present such as Illumination Bluminati, but I, I believe in the children, the indigos and the crystals. But if you checked out Back to the Fresh lately or before, and you've looked up the concept or um, the information on the documentary Illumination Bluminati, you'll see that I had a little synopsis of it. Um, it talks about indigo children. Indigo children has been labeled agents of change now indigo children are here to change old paradigms they believe or intuitively know that they have a special or higher purpose for being here most of them feel the need to make a considerable difference in the world and indigo children are in the vanguard are in the vanguard i'm sorry i'm, I'm reading i have to read verbatim because yeah you get it they're here to set a completely new direction 180 degrees opposite of the world's current course their task is to challenge old ideas and break ancient habits that hold the world chained to its current darkness. A new and vital blueprint has imprinted the neural pathways in their brains because it is their place to begin freeing humanity from spiritual viruses that have passed from generation to generation for centuries. They are born free of them. Their sacred purpose is to leap over deep-rooted patterns without the need to be rid, to rid themselves of old ideas and behaviors that no longer serve humankind. Indigos believe life with the fresh nature, intent, and commitment required for the coming dramatic and extraordinary change. Whoa. Now, it is difficult to precisely date when these new generations begin to appear. It seems that indigo children started to show up somewhere in the years between 1978 and 1983. Pause for a second. Indigos have existed way before 1978 and 1983. Way before that. Alright. Now, it was not until 1990 that Crystal Children debuted. Crystal Children debuted way before 1990. But the research says that they debuted in 1990, so I'll just stick with that for now. All right, Crystal Children, they've been labeled the world's new leaders. Now, towards the end of 1990, Crystal Children began to appear, coming to the world as models of a new way to live. Now, these happy, right, these happy clairvoyants already reside in a higher frequency of light. They are the sensitive forerunners modeling the new thinkers destined to populate our globe. They are communicative, cooperative, direct, even tempered, and naturally blissful. These children are the antithesis of war, greed, and the general darkness pervading humankind today. Hold on for a second. Let me pause that. I got to turn back on the music. Put me back in my zone. Here we go. All right. Who was I? Their penetrating eyes seem to have the ability to hypnotize us as they show us how to believe the impossible. Possible. 
They are the world's healers and peacemakers, quiet, modest, and powerfully vulnerable. There seems to be a natural absence of false pride and ego. In its place, there is a genuine humility and a heartfelt understanding of their oneness with God. Those spending time around them find that they live in a noticeably magical aura where miracles are commonplace. Crystals are destined to show us that living life in a state of love and cooperation is more than possible. It actually works. Now, on the front cover of the documentary, that's, that's my name. She's cute. She's a princess. She's adorable. Had to get started sometime, right? But, um... Illumination Bluminati. It's going to be a special documentary. Great documentary. I actually did a proposal for it months ago and it got accepted like in five minutes. Um, but unfortunately, I've been working on the documentary myself up until this point, and as a matter of fact, I've been working on my album and documentary at the same time myself, so I had to multitask, I had to get that multitask thing going, because I had no choice, but Illumination Bluminati. July the 4th. And stars, my album, July the 4th. You know, I'm gonna bring that fire for you guys. It's almost 4 o'clock and I'm up here yapping. It's because I can't go to sleep. Some of you know why I can't go to sleep. Some of you don't, but I have to stay active, stay busy, take my mind off things. But this documentary is going to be good. I know I'm just rambling on right now. I've been on here for like almost eight minutes. But I'm about to end it. <laughs> but check out Back to the Fresh when you get a chance. When you get a chance to. Excalibur shines Back to the Fresh. And follow me on Twitter. Justice James One. Yeah, Justice James One. Change for a dollar castle rock. Excalibur shine. BK. British Knights. Fresh Prince of Castle Rock is with the girlies like Excalibur shine. BK. British Knights.